What's the equation for this picture? Here we have 2 H2 plus O2 gives 2 H2O. This big 2 tells us that there are two molecules and then we have H2 telling us what each molecule is like. So in each of these two molecules, there are H atoms, two of them bonded together, 2 H2. Here we only have one molecule, so we could say 1 O2, but we leave the one off. So we just say O2. In each molecule, well there is only one, there are two oxygen atoms bonded together, O2. Here we have two molecules, and each molecule has two H atoms bonded to one O atom. That's why we write H2, two H atoms, O, we could write O1, H2O1. We simply write H2O, leaving off the one. There are two H2Os, so it's two H2O. So the whole equation is 2H2 plus O2 gives 2H2O. This is a balanced equation. What does that mean? It means that nothing gets created or destroyed in the process. What do I mean? In any chemical reaction, we start off with some chemicals and then they react with one another to become other chemicals. The chemicals we start with are called reactants. In this example, there are two reactants, hydrogen and oxygen, two types of reactants. Hydrogen gas, two molecules of H2 in this case, plus one molecule of oxygen gas. So hydrogen and oxygen react together. And what that means is that they actually come apart. So the bonds between the H's break, the bond between the O's break, and then the atoms rearrange. They get other partners. They go and bond with something else. This oxygen goes and bonds with two hydrogen atoms, and this oxygen goes and bonds with those two hydrogen atoms. So it's like they get new friends that they bond with. So a reaction is simply a rearrangement of atoms. Atoms that used to be bonded together break apart and then get bonded to something else. That's what a reaction is all about. And so so for the reaction to be right, to be balanced, you can't have any atoms disappearing or just coming from nowhere. That would be impossible. All the atoms you had in the beginning amongst the reactants must still be there at the end of the reaction amongst the products. So let's check if that is really true here. We could say that hydrogen atom ended up there. That hydrogen atom ended up there that hydrogen atom over there, and that one over there. So you can see every hydrogen atom that was there at the beginning of the reaction in the reactants is accounted for at the end of the reaction in the products. It hasn't disappeared. What about the oxygen atoms? That oxygen atom ended up there after the reaction, and that one there. Every oxygen atom we had at the start of the reaction in the reactants is still there at the end of the reaction amongst the products. So no matter has been created or destroyed in this process. The equation is balanced. Let's show this in another way. Let's count the number of hydrogen and oxygen atoms amongst the reactants and amongst the products. And we can see from that whether the equation is balanced or not. How many hydrogen atoms do we show in this picture amongst the reactants? You can go and count them, of course, and you see it's 4. Or you can look in the formulae and you can see it's 2 times 2, which is 4. There are two molecules of hydrogen gas, and in each of them, there are two hydrogen atoms. So in all of them, in both of them, there are 4 hydrogen atoms. 2 times 2 equals 4. What about the number of hydrogen atoms amongst the products? In other words, after the reaction. We can see from the picture it's also 4. We can also see from the formula that it's 4. 2 times 2 equals 4. There are two molecules of water, and in each of them there are two hydrogen atoms. So all together there are four hydrogen atoms. What about oxygen? Amongst the reactants, we can see from the picture there are two oxygen atoms. From the formula we can also see it's 2. 1 times 2 equals 2. Remember there is actually a 1 in front of the O2. We just don't write it. How about the number of oxygen atoms after the reaction amongst the products? From the picture we see it's 2. From the formula we can also see that. 
2 times 1 equals 2. Remember, H2O is actually H2O1. So we can see from this that the equation is balanced because the number of each kind of atom in the reactants is the same as the number of that kind of atom in the products. 4 H atoms in the reactants, 4 H atoms in the products. 2 O atoms in the reactants, 2 O atoms in the products. Matter has not been created or destroyed. The atoms that were there before the reaction are still there after the reaction, just rearranged with different partners now.